British Airways is about to start flying its new A350 and I've got a seat on the inaugural flight. Well, I say seat. What I've got booked is more like a very tiny, fancy hotel room in the sky. I'm jetting off to Madrid, a temporary short haul route to train up cabin crew on the new hardware, which means I've got just two hours to get to know BA's brand spanking new business class offering that they're calling the Club Suite. It's very posh and it even comes with its own door. BA has 18 of these shiny new A350s in the pipeline and the Club Suite is the first major business class refresh in 13 years. So let me show you some of the fancy features hiding behind this sliding door. The Club Suite comes equipped with an 18 and a half inch TV. One of, count them, one, two, three screens. A vanity mirror, if you're the right height. There's a nice little spot for your water bottle. And two small glove compartments, one with two USB and three pin power output. And for the obsessive compulsives, this is really satisfying. You can charge your phone, and they've left just enough room so that your lead doesn't get stuck. Despite the short flight, BA served up a full lunch service. It's yellow chicken curry, a burrata salad, with chocolate mousse for dessert. So good, really good. Real knives and forks. Fancy, that's fancy. I'm stuffed, just enough time to put that all important life lap bit to the test. Like a cherub's bottom. <laughs> so there's a completely life lap bed, plenty of room. I think I'm gonna have a good little nap. Good night. It's fantastic. The bed's really comfy, there's plenty of room. I've got lots of space here for all my gadgets lined up. The TV's huge, and when you shut this, it's almost like you're in your own little Japanese capsule hotel. But what about cattle class, where, let's be honest, most of us will be sat? So we're in economy now. Um, a little less room than up in my fancy seat, but it's not bad. There's a nice big TV screen. And the benefit of this plane is that, even if you're in economy, you benefit from the higher ceiling, much better air, and the cabin's pressurized to a much lower height. So we're at about 6,000 feet here instead of 7,000, which most older planes would be at. Which is perfect if you want to make the most of that drinks menu. after a very sweet but all too short trip, I've made it to Madrid. Even if you're not a high flyer, it's definitely worth checking out new routes to fly BA's A350 for your next holiday. Starting from September, they'll be in Dubai, then Toronto, and next on to Tel Aviv. 